Welcome to this video where we will look at how to create a planned versus an actual graph. We will create a graph that plots the cumulative planned against the cumulative actual values. This graph will also be able to tell us if we are on target and if not will give us a visual indication of the corrective action needed in the form of a corrective rate and all this by using some very simple formulae. The corrective rates are dynamic and will change based on the inputs that are provided for the actual work. We will start with this table that has the daily work values both planned and actual. We can plot this in a graph. So select this recommended charts and we will take the bar graph for now so we can pl plot this the planned work and actual work in a quick bar graph but this graph on a bit but this graph does not give us an indication whether we are on track and if not do we need to take uh, what corrective action do we need to take to get this information we will need to add three helper columns so let's go back here planned actual and corrective so here so these two columns would give us the cumulative sum of the planned as well as the actual so we will start here by saying if we will use this column to sum the cumulative one, cumulative planned work. If C3 equal to blank, return blank, else give me the sum of the planned column. And we will just mark, the, we will fix the starting reference by pressing F4 so that we so we can just quickly drag this and now it gives us the cumulative planned work for this duration now let us do the same for the actual but with a slight difference so we will say here if actual work equal to blank return an na else just say sum and again fix the starting point of the reference by here f4 and i can just now drag this all the way through now so why did i give na in this cell so as you can see for all the future dates in the actual column instead of giving me zero it is given or blanks it is given me an a so this will avoid the future when i plot it as a cumulative graph it will avoid the future dates dropping to zero now let us try and plot this in the graph so again i will select data i will select till the plant and the actual I will remove the daily total daily values and only retain the cumulative values and say OK. Then I will just right click and I will change the chart type so that it is now a line chart. As you can see, the chart is now slowly taking shape of what is what we are looking at. So if you remember we had one more column here which was the corrective column so we will fill that up in a moment before we fill up the corrective column we will need to calculate a few things so the first thing that we need to do is a current progress so what we will do is we will say equal to aggregate so this takes three parameters the first parameter that we are going to say is 4, second we are going to say is 6, so 4 
gives the max value six will ignore the error conditions and the third is the array that we want the maximum value so we will say we want to give the array which of the cumulative values of the actual here so and we will say here so this tells us that the current progress is 27 units of work has been completed what is the max plant that we can get from this plant column and again we will do the same formula aggregate first one is four which we want the max the second is any error conditions then the third value is provide the array or the list of the planned cumulative total so now we know that we have the current progress of 27 and we have to go to 20, 50 and we need now need to find the days left the days left can be found out easily by counting the na's here so we can say equal to count if the range and saying n slash a so which should give me three there now the required rate at which i need to finish my work is equal to my remaining work which is this minus max plan minus current progress divided by number of days left which gives me a is a required rate here i need to complete my remaining work at 7.67 units of work each day let us now fill up the corrective column that we wanted to fill up so this will now this column will drive my the corrective action that i need to take for the first day what we will do the, the formula that we will use is equal to if is na i'm checking if the actual value is value in the actual column is na if it is na fill up the required rate else just give the actual rate in the second cell onwards i will just do a small change to the same formula equal to if is an a this value then the required rate plus the value in the previous column the previous row there comma if not value if false give the f4 again before i drag this i will fix the reference to the required rate by pressing f4 now if i drag this i will see i will need to be complete 34.66 42.33 on day 9 and i will reach 50 on day 10 just to make it a little nicer to look at i can i've just changed this let us plot the corrective col column on this graph so let's go to the graph I click select data go to the chart data range select the data till the end of the corrective column now let us deselect the first two columns which we do not need and press ok now as you can see that the plan and the actual and the corrective all three have come but we are seeing only two we are not seeing the correct we are not seeing the actual here which we but we wanted to see both so if you see this it, it's a very quick fix so just right click and again go to select data and in this scenario what you will do is you will highlight the corrective and just move it up then you will be able to see the actual till the current date which is day 7 here and from day 8, 7 till day 10 you would be seeing the corrective values these four values just to make it look a little nicer 
just let me right click this for format data series and make it give it a dash type so as you can see that the chart is now almost similar to what we were seeing the only thing that is pending is the corrective rate to do that we will add another simple formula which is a text concatenation formula where we will say equal to the text that you want in the chart like the required rate this ampersand text what is the text that you want i want this value and i want it formatted with only one place value in the decimal place 0, 0. so it will then show up as 7.6 or 7.7 .7 instead of 7.67 so it's always better to format it like that so this is the value that you want to represent it here so to do that we want we will just take the go through the chart insert a text box and with this text box selected go to the formula bar say equal to and reference this cell so then if we just make it a little bigger and we now see that this value has come here if we change the value say for example on day 7 it is 8 and then we see that the rate has changed and on day 8 it is again 8 you see that the rate keeps changing and your graph keeps updating dynamically now that we have the required rate we can just we just need to add a chart title say planned versus actual and we are now ready so we have been able to from this table which had the planned and the actual work or on a day by day basis we have managed to create a planned versus actual cumulative graph and have also provided the corrective action required if on track and the rate at which you need to do the corrective action and all of that dynamically so hope this video was useful to you do let us know in the comments if you face any issues while implementing this method thank you and have a wonderful day